What's going on guys? Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video. We have done it. We've hit Birdman's number. Ladies and gentlemen, 900 subscribers. Thanks to you. Just want to make a quick video for you guys, the viewers. I just got like a message, an email, and we just officially hit the Tony Hawk legendary number. Yes, it is the 900. I just hit 900 subscribers on YouTube, which is insane to me. It might not be to many, but it is insane to me. First off, I got to give it a big shout out to you, the viewers. You guys are watching the videos. If you've seen it in a couple of videos, usually when I hit these numbers that I would never imagine hitting, I usually do my, give myself a little bit of a pep talk. So Vic, keep doing what you're doing, man. People are watching the videos, they are enjoying the build, and even though you surprise yourself, you are surprising some other people. So keep up the good work. And again, big shout out to you guys, the viewers, and I'm gonna basically take this video as kind of a way of, you know, telling, yeah. I'm basically gonna take this video as a way of kind of giving you guys some insights on some future stuff. Now that I know that, I mean, I've seen it, I can see on my analytics, but now knowing that people are enjoying the videos and engaging, basically, let me give you guys an idea of what to expect in the future. All right guys, so basically I'm downstairs in my newly renovated house. I call this Mission Control. If you've seen a couple of videos in the past or if you check out my Instagram, at Vic underscore VP, you'll understand why it's called Mission Control and all that, but uh, basically this is my area of the house that I could do anything I want. And basically it's gonna be, you're gonna see a lot of it uh, coming up because um, basically I'm going to tell you guys what's the plan for the future as far as the channel and my ideas for a couple of other stuff to do. Yes, we do arcade stuff. I do arcade stuff, but they're going to branch out a little bit. Nothing crazy, but we are still going to be talking about arcade and gaming stuff. So, uh, one big thing, I don't know if you remember in a video I made in the past, um, basically I talked about some ideas and a secret kind of build that I have coming up. So I don't remember if I revealed it. But basically, one of the builds I am trying to do and accomplish is a driving simulator cabinet. Um, basically, a driving cab with a seat, steering wheel shifter. And the idea is to have it only play strictly driving games, everything from MAM arcade driving games to PC games and all that techno power and all that. So the first idea is to do a driving sim. Second idea is a big project that I think I'm going to start with next, and that is a virtual pinball cabinet. I'm dying to do a virtual pinball cabinet, a real one with force feedback, solenoids, flashers, the whole nine yards. And I do have a personal idea of a four player upright cabinet. Um, really, I'm going to be doing a knockoff, I would say a bootleg to a um, view links cabinet that I actually saw at an arcade. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of stuff to come about. The big thing is I don't wanna make the official call, but I think I'm gonna be making the move um, from basically, being done with game room solutions, meaning buying the cabinets. Um, yes, I am looking to build my own cabinet. So that is really gonna be the next step after Eugene's build. And honestly, that's almost done. You see a lot of videos. Uh, I actually have a video coming up of the artwork and game room solutions just told me that they shipped out the cabinet. So, you know, let's first finish up Eugene's build before we get into anything else. But again, just to give you guys an idea of what to expect on the channel. So like I said, basically the next step is to kind of go into like woodworking uh give it a go give it a try um as i mean out here in new york i have many customers that message me that they don't really want the norm nor can they fit the norm um so you know some people do want uprights but they are kind of you know secluded to amount of space that they have in the room or in the house so basically i am going to try to take that next step into building my own cabinet i just don't know if i want to do the virtual pinball cabinet first, or my take on the four player view links bootleg, um, which I mean, I could make that as a video, as a story of how I found that. And that's honestly another idea that I had is basically if you guys wanted to, or if you're down to listen and hear it, uh, I have some stories. Um, basically it's really customer interaction stories um, and how some, some stuff goes. Um, you know, I have a couple of good ones, some, could be um, humiliating to the actual you know person that messages me, the customer I should say. Um, as you know, in this type of atmosphere and in this type of setting, I do get the random messages and the random offers because my stuff is on let go and offer up and Craigslist and all that. So 
If you guys are ever down to hear those kind of stories, let me know. I'm always down to talk about it. Um, we don't have to say any names of who it is or I'll kind of edit and make sure there's no phone numbers shown. But basically, let me know if you guys are down for that. I'm going to be a little bit more organized person on my end. I have a whiteboard sitting in the garage where the workshop, my little work area is. So basically, I'm going to try to be a little bit more neater. Um, basically, kind of, you know, making sure that I personally stay on track as I give out videos. Um, the other next idea is basically, again, we're going into cabinet. So I'm doing a driving cabinet. We're doing the virtual pinball. Basically, my other idea is to kind of make it available for you um, a person that would want it but cannot either afford the price of shipping um, basically for example I would make a drive I'm not a fan of drives you know I've said it many times in the past um, but basically I would try to figure out a way for you to basically enjoy uh, a build of mine so a lot of times I do suggest that let me build you a computer let me physically have the computer in my hand and work on it and then ship it out to you Eugene is a perfect example. Um, he's literally my first customer ever for, you know, for me personally to build a computer, put it in a bar top and actually send him a full blown already built. I mean, we're going literally across the United States from New York to California. So that's going to be a big test on my end. Um, you know, I'm going to create it and all that. So I'm excited for that. But again, it does kind of give me the opportunity and it really kind of gives me, um, what's the word? the assurance that I could do it. So basically, again, I'm going to be offering possibly drives. I'm trying to think of a way to do it, um, you know, because I do have a lot of customers and a lot of different types of customers. People want uprights. People want bar tops. Some people want not the norm. They want a whole different left field approach. Um, and I do have a lot of people that really just want like kind of like a gaming console. Um, honestly, when it comes to arcade builds, I'm personally the type that will tell you and all my customers basically the reality to it. Um, you know, for example, to be brutally honest, in Eugene's scenario, he has PS3, Xbox 360, Nintendo Switch. If you really think about it, I mean, that's kind of silly to have in a bar top, but Eugene has a really cool idea because his bar top is going where a TV will be. So he will basically be able to enjoy games not only on the bar top but he'll be able to sit down on the couch and play it kind of like a console so try to keep that in mind there are people that will sell you you know mega cades and all that and you know i do have a, a person i follow that he keeps showing off um a person's mega cade and it's just in all honesty some of the games and the systems that you have inside these mega cades they're pointless i mean what's the point of having grand theft auto on your upright I mean, Grand Theft Auto is such a detailed, intense game. Imagine you standing, you know, for four hours at your arcade. So I'm also the type of person to give you reality and kind of bring you down um, to reality. So, um, you know, if you want the systems in your bar top or in your arcade, that's cool. But I'm the type of person to kind of give you the kind of bring you back a step and say, hey, listen, are you sure you want, you know, this inside your arcade cabinet? So. That's why I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards making a console. Um, basically, you know, there are a couple of builds. The new Xbox system is kind of basically a PC. Um, so basically, it's, it's taking that idea. So it's me personally trying to, you know, take a step out of the boundaries as far as the arcade emulation world and just trying to make it easier for you, um, the customer, the person to enjoy it in a, re in a reality kind of setup. So yeah, just a quick summary again, basically looking at kind of branching out as far as the arcade stuff. We're gonna be looking at driving simulators. We're gonna be looking at virtual pinball, possibly making my own PC kind of thing. Again, my idea with that is basically trying to make it a console, just like we have a PlayStation 4 and all that. Basically something where you could kind of take it and all that. The only reason I came up with that idea is because a lot of the systems that we're running, I mean, you're talking like PS3, you're talking the GameCube, you know what I mean? It's Those are like four player games. And you know, like for me on the GameCube, I love the uh, Super Mario Sunshine. So it's like, I just personally, you know, I get it's cool to have it in your arcade cabinet, but you know, in all honesty, in all reality, how long you're gonna stand at your upright to play that. So it's more of a option for somebody to buy basically a full blown decked out PC that will play everything on emulation. So that's, 
a lot of the ideas that I have. Also, again, I do keep mentioning about my website. And honestly, ever since about you know two or three weeks ago, I kept getting messages. And that's why, like I said, I'll, I'll, if you guys are down, I'll, I could share stories. But basically, every message I get is a new idea. So I did have a, a website, and I'll actually post it down below. It's on Wix. Um, luckily, with Wix, I use it for my you know personal actual you know company you know where I really work because this is a side thing. And Wix lets you ma actually make a you know your website free. So I'll show you guys. I'll put it down below so you can actually see it and check it out. But now I'm kind of thinking of it has to be kind of re-imaged and redone. Uh, part of my big thing is that um, I want you, and I always say it, anytime somebody messages me and says, hey Vic, I want a bar top, my first question is, what do you want to play? Like, forget budget, what do you want to play? So I get customers that go, hey Vic, I want to play the Wii U, I want to play the Nintendo Wii, and then from there, I can automatically tell you, you need a PC. Like, no, hands down, you know, you gotta tell me what you want. So now with that, when it comes to PC builds, people have budgets, I get it. I have a budget too. People have budgets and I'm willing to help you make that dream come true within your budget. So what am I getting at? Basically on the website, I'm looking to kind of basically make a big list of the systems that I have and then basically you'll be able to pick which one you want based on basically like it'll have a list and the gigabytes that it needs to run. So for example, you know, PlayStation 3, the ROMs alone are eight terabytes. That you, if you're saying, if you're gonna message me and say, hey Vic, I want PS3, you automatically need a 10 terabyte drive. So that's basically the idea I have. So with that, with the website, I might have to redo it and reimagine it. So again, my mind is racing, it's going crazy, but the biggest and awesome thing I just got, again, was that we hit Tony Hawk's numbers. We hit the 900. Um, so big shout out to you guys again for watching. Let me know if you guys have ideas. Remember, you can message me literally on Instagram. People message me and I answer. So you're literally talking to me. It's only me. And I'm just so happy that you guys are enjoying it. Let's keep rocking. And um, basically on the next video, you're probably gonna see, we're gonna do some artwork. I'm gonna show you what we did for, I keep saying we. That's probably what I should do for the future videos is to stop saying we. Basically, I'll show you what I did as far as Eugene's artwork. Um, and again, making some comments about, you know, Game Room Solutions and how they kind of cheated me on my artwork, but I got a little secret on Eugene's uh, artwork. So I'll make that actually on the next video. We're gonna do a couple more screen capture videos. So basically, you know, I'm gonna, I just discovered that Sony, the camera that I use could actually be my webcam. So, and not using the cam link, that's, you know, another idea. So basically we'll do more screen captures and all that. So again, big shout out to you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Be sure also to follow me on Instagram because right now Instagram, I do post a lot of stories. Apparently on YouTube, once I hit 1,000, I'll be on the YouTube stories thing. So it's really cool. Again, it's uh, me just being excited. Again, 900 subscribers. Big shout out to you guys. Thank you.